Hello students and welcome to standard 10 geography chapter number 8 economy and occupation in the continuing part of this chapter we will be learning about agriculture mining and fishing in india in the first part of the chapter we have learned about the economic activities and in india and brazil so let us get more information about the occupations in india so let us begin first with agriculture in india given is the map of india which shows the distribution of crops like wheat jowar rice cotton sugarcane tea and apple so looking at the map we will come to know that we find a variety of crops and cultivations of plantation at various states in india let us see which are the top crops producing states of india and those are west bengal uttar pradesh punjab gujarat haryana madhya pradesh assam andhra pradesh karnataka and chatisgarh now as we have seen in the map the various crops and the variety of crops which are grown in india now let us see which are the major crops of india so the major crop of india it consists of the food crops food crops other than grains horticulture crops non food crops and fiber crops given below are the examples of the food crops like the rice wheat millets maize and pulses food crops other than grains are sugarcane oil seeds coffee tea horticulture crops it consists of fruits and vegetables and non food crops rubber and the fiber crops it includes cotton and jute now let us learn like what are the favorable reasons or what are the factors which gives us a variety of food grains or the crops which grows in india also let us learn about the nature of agriculture in india and the various produce which is done in india so as we have been learning right from a primary class that india has been practicing or the main occupation of india right from the ancient time is agriculture and india is the largest not only in agricultural activities but also it is one of the largest milk producer country and also the second largest country in the food fruit production now as per 2018 agriculture employed more than 50% of india's population and it contributed to nearly 17 to 18% of the country's gross domestic product gross domestic product already we have learned in the first part of the chapter if you want to refer to it please see the first part of this chapter so 17 to 18% of the gdp india contributes through agriculture and along with the agriculture we have various or allied activities like the animal husbandry and forestry these two are practiced in india let us see the favorable factors which gives a variety and a higher yield of cultivation into a nation first thing is the enormous expanse of level plains we have the plains in india like the northern plains and the coastal plains this is a important factor which gives us a variety of crops and a higher yield of crops growing into a nation next thing is the rich soil high percentage of cultivable land now as we have discussed earlier around 60% of land in india is under the cultivation and that too the land the soil on this land is quite rich very fertile to give a variety of crops growing into a nation and wide climatic variety now in various states of india we have a different climatic condition rainfall or uh, uh, monsoon seasons you can say or winter or summer season there is a variety of climate into a nation which gives a variety of crops growing into those states long growing seasons this is very important factor because as the seasons are definite into india and as a result the farmers are aware about the uh, about the climatic condition or about the seasons and this is one of the reason due to the definite period of seasons into a nation it also helps the farmers to prepare for all the agricultural activity well in advance and as a result this is also season is an important reason to have or to get or to bring about a higher cultivation or 
variety of crops growing into a nation so these are few of the reasons which provide a strong base to agriculture next thing in india agriculture has been long standing activity that means long standing activity it means that agriculture is a major occupation of india it is as i told you since ancient time we have been doing this so in agric in india agriculture has been a long standing activity that is the main occupation in india is agriculture next thing is indian agriculture is mainly subsistence type subsistence type it means that majority of the farmers in india they practice subsistence farming it means the farming is practiced by the farmers for their own consumption that is only to fulfill their own needs and mostly they grow crops like oil seeds pulses vegetables and sugar cane these are cultivated and if at all some extra is left or sur surplus surplus crops are left then they uh, sell it off or they use it for the purpose of trade but now in india this picture is changed now but along with the substances now in india we also have a commercial farming which is practiced now in india so commercial farming it is a farming in which cash crops are grown and this type of uh, agriculture or this type of agriculture is done mainly to gain the profit india produces rice wheat maize sorghum that is jowar and millets that is bajra as major food crops plantations of tea what is a plantation plantation it means only one type of crops are grown in a particular estate or in a particular place that is called to be as the plantations like we have the coffee plantation tea plantation or rubber trees plantation so the place where only one type of cultivation take place in a large estate or in a large land those are called to be as the plantations like we have the plantations of tea coffee rubber and cash crops cash crops that is a commercial agriculture where the cultivation is done or agriculture is done to produce the uh, cultivation crops like sugar cane cotton jute which gives a very good business which gives a very good profit those are said to be the cash crops india is also a major producer of variety of crops and vegetables now let us learn about the next occupation and that is mining in india so mining this is an activity of extracting of valuable minerals or coal from the mines mining like active like agriculture is also an important activity in india india ha india is a larger exporter of iron ore chromite bauxite mica and manganese and the mining sector it combined nearly 22.4% to india's gdp that is india's gross domestic product the chota nagpur plateau in india what you see on your map here it is a big storehouse of different minerals in india mining is the main occupation of the people in chota nagpur let us see the distribution of various minerals in states in different states of india so coal is found or it is mined in korba in chatisgarh in the eastern maharashtra then we have the mineral oil wells they are found in digboy in assam mumbai high in arabian sea near maharashtra kalol and koila ekoili in gujarat Reserves of mineral oil and natural gas have been discovered at the mouth of river Godavari. Stones like marbles are found in Rajasthan and Kadappa stone is found in Andhra Pradesh. So moreover reserves of metallic minerals are found in Jharkhand in Odisha and the adjoining Chhattisgarh and Madhya Madhya Pradesh and also the parts of Rajasthan Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. so we can find that metallurgical industries has developed more in these areas now for example if we talk about rajasthan rajasthan has a copper lead and zinc whereas karnataka has steel manganese and aluminium whereas tamil nadu has aluminium metal industries so this was all about the distribution of minerals in india 
Now let us learn about the next important occupation and that is fishing in India. Now as we have learned that agriculture is a long standing activity, it is a major and important occupation of our nation. Same way, fishing is also an important, uh, plays an important role in the economy of India. It is an allied occupation with agriculture that is fishing is carried along with agriculture like animal husbandry, fishing or forestry. Fishing is also an allied occupation and it is a major industry. People get a job opportunity due to the fishing activities. India ranks third in the fisheries and it contributes to nearly 1.07% of total GDP. And in India, we have uh, both type of fishing that is the marine and the inland fishing. Marine fishing, these are carried in the ocean seas include, including the bays and the estuaries. And inland fishing, this is a fresh water fishing. Now let us see what are the benefits of fishing activity or fishing as occupation. First thing, fisheries helps in augmenting food supply. That means it increases the food supply. Next thing, Generating employment, people get the job opportunity due to the fishing activity or fish, fishing occupation. Next thing is raising nutritional level that means it helps to increase the nutritional value. Fish contains lot and lot of nutritional value which are, which are, uh, which are necessary for, for the human body. Next thing foreign earning foreign exchange that is Major species of fish are exported from India like the sardines, mackerel, pomfret, crabs and many more such a type of species are exported to other nations which earns a good foreign exchange and definitely it gives it adds to the profit of our nation. Fish forms an important part of the diet of the many people living in the coastal areas of Kerala. West Bengal, Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Goa and Maharashtra. India has a coastline of about 7500 kilometers of coastline. Here you can see on your screen which I am marking here. And out of which 4670 kilometer is of marine coastline. That is where the marine fishing is practiced and marine fishing these are carried mainly in the ocean seas which also includes the bays and the estuaries. And the marine fishing it accounts for about 40% of the total annual production of fish and been confined to the coastal waters in the west from Kutch. Then the Malabar coast and to the east that is the Coromandel coast. Major fishes are sardines, mackerel, bombay duck and prawns and on the eastern coast the important fishes are horse mackerel, clupates and silver bellies. Freshwater fishing is carried on the rivers, canals, irrigation channels, tanks ponds, lakes, where silver bellies, that is chopra fish, are the major varieties of fish. Let us get some information about the pisciculture. Pisciculture, it involves the breeding, rearing and transplantation of fish by artificial means. It is also known as the fish farming. It involves raising fish commercially in tanks or enclosures usually for food. Fish species raised by fish farms include salmon, catfish, tilapia, cod, carp, trout and others. And the increasing demand of wild fisheries by commercial fishing operation have caused widespread overfishing. Hence, pisciculture offers an alternative solution to the increasing market demand for fish and fish proteins. With this, we end with the second part of the chapter, Economy and Occupation. In the third part of this chapter, we will be learning about 
agriculture, mining and fishing in Brazil.